Hey everybody, Terry Batiste with the Bass Fishing Archives. I'm sitting here in my hotel in Greenville, South Carolina, preparing for Classic 52 that starts tomorrow. Today I spent most of the day at uh, Media Day uh, talking to the anglers. I talked to seven or eight of them and I asked them questions about how they started fishing, how they got into bass fishing, uh, and tournament fishing and the progression from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to uh, what Greg Hackney had to say about how he got started in his bass fishing career uh, from the time that he may have been too little to uh, even know that he was fishing. So, Greg Hackney. So, uh, Greg, uh, obviously you've become, uh, have been one of the top tier anglers for the last 15, 20 years out here on, on the tour. But I want to know about how you got started and what was your first memory of actually fishing? You know, so I was very fortunate to grow up in a family that everybody fished. My mother and father, my grandparents on both sides. And uh, I mean, honestly, anytime the weather other than wintertime, we fished every weekend. Mm -hmm. So at a very young age, I mean, I can't even really probably remember the first bass I caught. I have memories of the first couple. I remember the first one I remember catching on a spinnerbait on a chartreuse spinnerbait. It was about a two and a half pounder. I caught on Zebco 33 in a pond. I just remember how hard it fought. I remember watching it in the water and uh, oh, I don't know. I just been a, I guess you, I was meant to be a fisherman because like I said, I've been fishing since before I could remember. Was that the, the, that was the first bass, and is that what got you into wanting to become a bass pro, or? Oh, no, no, I didn't become, really want, even know that existed till I was a 10. Uh-huh. Uh, we went to, I grew up about 45 minutes south of where the 1984 Bassmaster Classic was, mm -hmm. and we went to the last day to see what it was about. My daddy was an avid bass fisherman, never fished tournaments, and didn't know anything about that. We just, fit, you know, we just fished. Uh-huh. And uh, that was the first ex tournament experience, you know, being around that. And, yeah. You know, Clun set the all-time record, won $40,000, and, yep. and I was like, he got forty thousand dollars to go fishing. That's what I want to do. So it was at that eighty-four classics. Yep. What changed your? That's it. And then so, what was your pathway to start fishing tournaments at that point? So later on that fall, I fished in a youth tournament at eleven. I turned eleven September the first. That classic was in August, and uh, they had a Stuttgart Bass Club was having a uh, youth tournament, and uh, I fished in it. Didn't catch one. <laughs> Never caught a bass. Uh -huh. uh, they not too long ago the that the guy who was at the at the time the president of that club sent me a newspaper clipping a picture of it with me standing in the line with all those boys that his son actually won the I remember too because he got a really nice reel and he caught like one you know one bass and won the uh -huh. deal and I guess after that I was hooked you know. My father and I, we started fishing, you know, some team tournaments, big bass tournaments then. And uh, what kind of boat sports. were you fishing? Oh, well, I just had a 12 foot aluminum boat. I fished by myself. I was the only kid in it that fished by myself. Uh huh. Because I spent a lot of time fishing by myself. Yeah. Uh, would you fish the tournaments out of that boat? Or? Uh, well, I fished that one out of it. Uh -huh. We had a bass boat. Yeah. So, your first tournament win, what was that? Uh, you know, we fish a, uh, a buddy tournament at Little Rock when. Uh, when I was 14 and I caught the big bass and it won a boat. Uh, it was a five and a half pounder. It was in wow. Park. How and old? I was 14. And won a boat? And won a boat. Wow. And, uh, That's a John Murray type of story. The, <laughs> we didn't win the tournament, I just had the big bass and the, it was a, the, uh, it was an MDA benefit tournament they had it every year and uh, anyway, I won the boat. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. You got a free fish mount. I still have that fish mounted. Because <laughs> then, you know, they didn't, you know, there were no replicas or whatever. Right. And I got a free fish mount for catching the big bass. <laughs> one of the only, I only have two fish mounted my entire life. That was one of them, just because I got a free fish mount. <laughs> so what was the, the defining moment of your life that told you that you could fish competitively at this level? Uh, so I've just been really fortunate, I guess, to have, have won at every level, and I just worked my way up from the Bass Club to uh, BFLs, you know, and on up through the Opens to the Elites, uh -huh. you know, so. So it was just a steady progression. Yeah, I had a lot of success at home. We, we, I fished a lot of tournaments growing up, like when I was, you know, 
really from 16 to 25 that and won a, I you know won a lot of money fishing at home. I mean, a couple years at home, I won 100 grand. You know, just fishing local yeah. tournaments. So I just you know yeah. it was one of those things. I, I really enjoyed it, and I I was very fortunate again to grow up in a family that was supported me 110 percent. You know, because they all fished and thought it was cool. And there was you know. <laughs> I fish tournaments, you know, Sweet. so, and my father was my team partner till, you know, so in, uh, I guess in 1998, him and I won the OMC World Championship, won 100 grand. Wow. And that, the, I, and I, that's when I was started fishing, uh, I started fishing like the Everstarts, and uh, then I qualified for the FLWs, and just, you know, and the year before that, I'd won a BFL region in the fall before we won the OMC World Championship outside of pretty good pocket full of money to start, you know, fishing out. Yeah. yeah that's just, cool. Uh, I fish a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. And Thank good you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Take care.